In Matthew 21, 31, Jesus says just this ridiculous statement to, to our common hearts, to our normal human understanding of how things work. He says, Truly I say to you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes go into the kingdom of God before you. He's talking to the Pharisees there who were extremely moral, extremely religious, did everything they could to obey every bit of the law. Jesus says, the tax collectors and the whores go into the kingdom of heaven before you do. How could he say that? I was watching a TV show recently and this lady was talking to her priest and she said, I don't know about this whole thing, Christianity, Father. She's like, have you read that verse to where Jesus says that these sinners get to go into the kingdom of heaven before the religious and the upright and the righteous people? That doesn't make sense. And the priest just says, well, Jesus is just trying to say we should love everyone. I just, I screamed at my computer as I was watching. I was like, no, that's not what he's saying. What he's saying is those who want to achieve their own salvation, you don't go, you don't go into the kingdom of God. You only get into the kingdom of God by grace. And the prostitutes and the tax collectors, the thieves, the murderers, the liars, they go in first because they know they need a savior. And you don't. So at one point, Jesus says, I didn't come to call the righteous. I came to call sinners to repentance. What he means is I didn't come for those who think they're great and think they've already established everything they need and, and think that they can be saved through their own works or God will love them more through their own works. He's like, I didn't come for them. They don't think they need me. I came for those who know they're broken and know they need me to piece them back together. So is the gospel good news or bad news for you? When you hear that you can't do anything, do you say like Javert, give me law or give me death? If I can't earn it, I don't want it. You need to know that if you want to be acceptable to God through your own works, look at me. If you want to be acceptable to God through your own works, there is no hope for you. For you cannot be. 